Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. For this episode, really the main thing on the agenda is the bazaar. I'm gonna wanna grab a grasshopper to wrap for Kevin, and oh boy, we just... We constantly got this issue with, with not being able to have enough inventory space to sell everything we want to sell at the bazaar. Which means that we also don't have enough space in storage because our storage doesn't empty out as much as it, we would want it to. But would like to get to the bazaar actually on time today. And that way we can go ahead and uh, um, sell, as, sell a lot more than we have been. Because if you've noticed these past few weeks, we've been left with stuff. Been left with products at the end of the day that are unsold. That's not great. But we do need to get a few things done before we head over there. Like, for example, planting these radishes. And also grabbing a grasshopper for Kevin's birthday next week. And sticking stuff in storage because... Well, like I said, we don't have a whole lot of inventory space, and uh, yeah, we, we're picking up some stuff from the windmills on the way. Other than that, there isn't really much that we're planning on getting done today. Um, other than, oh, that's right, uh, these carrots should probably be done before the end of the episode, which means that we're going to be switching over to the spring sun in the basement. And we can go ahead and... Yeah, we like that. Hey! Yo! No golden egg for us today, but that's just fine. Oh. No! I wanted to catch this! Oh my goodness. Please. Game. Game. Thank you. Okay, so this is... This is the locust that will be given to Kevin for his birthday. So, the good butter, you can see, is worth 720 for two and a half star, which is... Which is quite good. Um... I mean, it's not like amazing, sure, but you look at the milk, milk is worth 440. So, but, so that's 620 G of profit after the cost of the oil. And so that's actually quite, uh, quite good, especially since we get five of those per day. With all these pineapples, and for the record, you may have, you might have noticed those, what is it, three star, three and a half star, something like that, pineapples. 5,000 G. Oh my goodness. I, I'm so hungry I can barely move. I, I think I'm going to pass out. Take one of my items. Sure, I'm happy to let you have this good herb butter. You could just eat it. Butter makes a perfectly good breakfast. You mean for free? Can Could you buy it, please? I can't remember which one. I think it's could, for, oh, for... You mean for free? Sorry I wasn't clear on that. I'll come back later. Um... I think maybe could you buy it please gets you more reputation, but that's okay. We still have a lot of stuff to sell. So a lot of shots at reputation increasing. Greetings, I just have to be help people out wherever I go. Therefore, I insist that I help you in any way I can. Why don't you buy something? But I'm not gonna say that. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now then, attention everyone, this stand is the finest at the bazaar. <laughs> How was that? I've said it before, but that's not necessarily helpful, because what if what if our stand isn't the finest at the bazaar? Because not only are you making things worse for us by... by... Oh, hmm. Do I have enough for this good butter? How about for half price? You can have it for free. Hmm. What? That's awesome. You're awesome. Thanks a bunch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. So many customers. Anyway, but yeah, so if, if the stand is not the finest at the bazaar, you're not really helping because you're, you know, building up people's expectations and then they'll be, they'll be disappointed. And then if you, uh, and then not only that, but you're also disappointing everyone else. So good work, Ray. The summer bazaar really is the most exciting. The spring bazaar is nicer. The sunshine is so nice. It's a little too hot. How about the sunshine is so nice? Exactly. It's a little hot, but that just fires you up. Oh man, we are definitely winning on a reputation this time. Hmm, you have a lot of things on sale. Do you like running a stall at the bazaar? Yeah, it's fun. No, it's not very fun. Why don't you open a stall? We'll say this just to see Antoinette blush. 
Wh what? I never even considered that. I would like some place to sell all the accessories I've made. All right. My goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Didn't didn't see you there. And then watch nobody else comes to want to talk to us. And we end up losing on reputation from quite a while back. Uh, pineapples, you might have noticed. Like three star, three and a half star, something like that. They're like 5,000 G each. And we accidentally brought a five star pineapple with us. So I can show you how much those are worth. And so once we can start planting those next summer, we will be making hand over fist. So, five star pineapple is worth 6,720 G. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's not an insignificant amount. We don't want to be selling this Jersey milk either. So, we, we actually ended up bringing a couple of things that we aren't actually going to sell and we probably should have put into storage, but okay. Butter! Mayonnaise! Ooh. Sorry! Look, I've got, like, everybody that wants to buy everything. These people can't just... Hey there, could you give me this tomato? Sure. Oh, thank you. I'm actually a secret critic. Just kidding. I just like getting stuff for free. Thanks. I can't go on anymore. Not another step. I'm booped. I might be okay if I had this scrap metal. It's yours. Sure, take it. Anyway, so far you've earned 243,290G. That is... Boy, that is an understatement, saying that we met the goal. Welcome to a food stall. Blueberry tea, carpaccio, and gazpacho. Well, uh, I guess we'll have gazpacho. To be given to everybody. Thank you. I'll teach you the recipe as well. Let's head over to the other cafe, to Jones Cafe. We want to get this done ASAP so we can actually get back and sell some things. Milk curry. Have we actually tried giving milk curry to people? I don't think so. Well, I guess we'll try that. We can't do any of that today, though, because we already gave Raul a gift for today, and we're gonna go ahead and... We're still going to be giving Raul gifts. They're cooked dishes and seeing how he likes them. All right, so we've got the names and... Eh, there we go. This one will be... Celebi. Yes, Celebi is okay. And this one will be... Actually, wait, hold on. I forgot the spelling. Oh, okay. This one will be... Jirach. Could have gone with Jirchi or Drachi, but I went with Jirach instead. It also have gone Jirasi or something like that, but anyway. How you doing, Cherry? Honey, how is your store doing? We're doing well. Um, i blown past the goal, so that's pretty good. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune red? It's just 100G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Just be yourself, and others will like you for who you are. That's actually... It's not bad advice, and this is the thing, is that like people, people don't get why it's not bad advice. And the reason why it's not bad advice is because whoever you are, there's somebody that likes that kind of person. You know, there's a lot of people that like that kind of person. Oh, goodness. We got 48 eggs left. Ugh. And that kind of goes for like, for like being on YouTube, for example, especially. Uh, people are always trying to be cheap imitations of more popular YouTubers when if they just be themselves, they... You know, there are people out there that would like that. Even if they're a very angry person who's not very smart. You know, there are plenty of, there are plenty of, you know, people that are interested in seeing 
their particular brand of not very smart coupled with their particular brand of of anger and so they they do a lot better just being themselves than trying to be a cheap Im imitation of a popular youtuber because like you have the genuine article that's got like that's really really popular so why would anyone go for this cheap imitation and uh what is this? This is is this the fifth one, I think? So we got an ore stone and nothing else. Okay. That's fine, actually. Frankly, an ore stone is is pretty great. So and nothing from Claire. Alright, so we've got five tries at the super lucky lotto. All with the gold coins. And, well, I mean, if we could only do bronze coins, then, um, as before, then, oh, nice. Diamond. We're gonna want to save this diamond, I think, so that we can turn it into a ring later on. Anyway, so, um, yeah, if we were going with, if we were still using bronze coins, then we could only do one play. Sixth place prize. Okay. metal. Come on, magic water. So I, I don't think I've mentioned this, but you can only ever win five magic water. And, well, I mean, fifth place prize is better than... is better than scrap metal, so... I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, what was I gonna say? Right, so, um... Yeah, we'd only be able to do one, one shot. We'd only have one shot at the Super Lucky Lotto if we could if we could use bronze coins only. But here we get five because we're using gold. And at this point, we don't really need to worry that much about our money, so we don't need to scrimp and save. But so the limiting factor is not our money, but rather the number of small coins that we can find. And uh, that wasn't too bad. Two scrap metal, one diamond, one fluorite, and one agate. So, I said not too bad. Hello there, welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100G okay? Sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. Have you been able to catch bugs, or do they fly away when you try to catch them? The trick is to walk slowly and sneak up on them. Don't try to rush things, or they'll notice you. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Well, that's not always the case. With some bugs, if you try and be super careful, you actually end up losing them. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of me thrill Because I think we're down to one. And so we want to have a little bit extra. And then, of course, we'll buy just like 11 gold, I think. And that should... That should be fine, yeah. And then we'll get some oil from Chen. We'll get one full stack of oil, and then we'll go ahead and sell all this other stuff. Oh, actually, we need to check and see if... Uh, I forget how much cat toys are. Well, oh well. I think we might have screwed up with that. I don't know if, if Felix is selling cat toys this week or not. Uh, no. Okay. So, never mind. Not important. Alright, we've got 50 minutes to sell 48 eggs. I don't think that's going to happen. And the bazaar is ending right about now, so I don't think we're going to sell anymore. But, oh. Wait. And there we go. Well, that's it for the bazaar today! Thank you everyone for coming! I hope we'll see you all again next time! 259,610 chi, and I believe that puts us within swinging range of 100% in the bazaar. It's, it's gonna be- Oh, we didn't get the locust wrapped. Oh no. Oh well. It's fine, it's fine. So what I was saying is that we, we're in swing range of 100% in the bazaar. I think we're just, a, we're about 300,000 away, which means that, 
if we can, I mean, if we can get all of our stuff sold next week. Because remember, we've got those two emerald bracelets, and then we'll have this fluorite brooch that we uh, that we still have that we'll have to sell. Um, there's actually a pretty good chance that we'll reach that 300,000 G, and that we'll be able to upgrade the bazaar. Yeah, it seems I was incorrect about the sheep regrow the sheep wool regrowing thing. So instead of three sheep every day shearing, we'll go ahead and do two tomorrow, and then three the next day, and then two the next day, and then three the next day. And that way, our sheep shearing should be uh, spaced out. Something I noticed when when you look at the animal info is that when you wake up one of your animals when they're asleep, um, it stresses them. So. Like here we can, we can go over here and check, and we can see that a lot of our cows are stressed. See? Well, they're not that stressed, but yeah. So, that's why they look so angry when you wake them up, is because it stresses them out. So ideally, you want to get the, the wool sheared and the, the sheep sheared and the cows milked, before, before night, but before uh, nine o'clock, but that's not always viable. Before we uh, we head to bed, is that that yellow wonderful um, is going to be going into this processing windmill, and right now I guess. Okay, <laughs> it's like I don't know when it will be because we're gonna want to wait until everything is done in here and then it's just like yeah it'll be done in literally one second i'm like oh okay and so this means that when we make the good butter which we're gonna go ahead and start back on now so we make a 10 stack of good butter right and that means that we'll get well, we make ten, we put 10 milk and 10 oil in there, and then we'll get 12 butter in return. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners, in third place with 132,000 G! Wilbur, congratulations! In second place with 170,000 G. Rose Store, congratulations! And in first place with 259,610 G. Ray, congratulations! <laughs> Next time, I'll be number one. Just wait. Shouldn't you have been number one this time, given how much gold I bought? And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! People are saying that your store provides excellent service! <laughs> you hold on the town proud! Keep up the good work! Hmm? You're in the top three, and you have the best reputation! Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts! An orange tea can! Can of orange tea, I don't A goal to be the best bazaar in the world is now one step away! We're so close! Let's do it! Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now! Start getting ready for the next bazaar! Oops. Um... Anyway, uh, no tossing around the doggos today, no squishing the cats, just because... But, um, we can't really replant these pumpkins, so I kind of hate to leave this just laying there because we have plenty of time to grow radishes, so I guess we'll be growing some extra radishes for the next few days. Asparagus takes a very long time, so we're going to want to fill up as much of this area as we can with asparagus whenever we can. And see, this is what I'm talking about, is that the turnips, yeah, we can just plant them whenever, and 
they'll get to 99 without much issue. But the asparagus, that's going to take quite a while to grow and multiply enough to get to a decent amount. You know, actually, what am I thinking? Now that we can... So, hold on, because we have plenty of silver, right? We've got, like, a ton of silver. So we can actually start upgrading the medium fishing rod. Yeah, we've got 44 silver. So we might as well upgrade that until it hits five stars. And then, well, when we can get the long fishing rod, we've got quite a bit of gold. So I guess we can do something about that. At some point, we're probably going to have to turn some of these eggs into mayonnaise. Just because of, well, the ones that we got in storage going bad. But that's fine. As long as Chen sells oil. My, my major concern with that, as far as, as far as the eggs going into mayonnaise, is whether or not the eggs will get downgraded to fairly fresh before or after we get to 99. Because it's gonna use a ridiculous amount of oil. But we should be able to sell all that mayonnaise before it goes bad. We will lose a little bit of money on the deal, but I think turning a fairly fresh egg into super fresh mayonnaise is is a uh, um, is a profitable endeavor so because remember when when foods go down in a freshness rate ranking they lose a lot of value if you can process fairly f fresh foods fairly fresh uh, um, items into uh, into something else and make them super fresh it's it's usually worth it anyway oh Ah, that was close. That was so close. Oh. And watch, the rest of this is gonna be perfect. Nope. Never mind. Uh. The rest of this is gonna be perfect. Just watch. Oh my gosh. Is this gonna be a new low score? Maybe. Oh, I think we've gotten 34 before. Well, other than us almost getting 100% the bazaar, and of course us getting wonderful, uh, nothing really much happened this episode, which I think is okay. You know, we don't have to have a random event or a festival every single episode, I don't think. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, there will be a festival next episode, the Animal Festival, and we might reach 100% bazaar the episode after that, but anyway, um, I think for now, that will have to be everything, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.